Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Minnesota Twins game review, and we got a good one for you tonight. Friday night, the Twins get a big win over the Toronto Blue Jays, 9-3. to I'm excited. You know who's not going to be excited? Yak City Gaming, Dalany TV, who's probably making a video right now about that too, but... From his perspective, and the Blue Jays getting absolutely smacked around by the Twins tonight. What a good game for the Twins, Twins fans. Let me know what you guys thought about this game. I want to hear your comments in the comments below. So let's get into this. I have so much to talk about. So if this is a long video, I apologize, but not really. And I hope you stick along with me because this is a good game. Let's break it down. Twins win 9-3. They hit 12 hits. Five home runs. They had five home runs, including Miranda, Jose Miranda, everyone's favorite. He had two of them, and so did Kyle Garlick. They had some big home runs, and of course, Byron Buxton had a great night tonight, too. He also hit a home run in the ninth inning. That was uh, that was quite the shot, and he had a great night. So, really, the top of the lineup were the guys who shined, and then Miranda. Every, you know, the guys in the middle, guys at the end of the lineup, didn't do too hot, but... That doesn't really matter because the guys up top came in clutch when they needed to. Big home runs. We had some good pitching too. Let's start with the hitting because I think that's what everyone's here for. I'm going to run down the box score, then we're going to go into the plays. Byron Buxton struck out in his first two at-bats tonight, then went three for three. So ended up three for five on the night. Of course, had two home runs or two runs. Back it up. Two RBIs. One run. It was on the home run. Let's go. Uh, and, you know, he's batting 220 again. It, like I said before, I think he's an MVP player, and then he went through that, like, 0 for 30 slump. He's, like, 9 for his last ooh, 29, I think. He's he's right up there at 300, um, again, over his last, you know, three games or so. That's what we like to see. Consistency, maybe. I still think he's swinging the bat a little bit too high, uh, but it worked for him tonight. He got a cement mixer uh, over the middle of the plate, and... Yeah, he hit that a long way. That was a really good hit, so I was really happy with that. Uh, Polanco went one for five tonight. Kyle Garlic, a big night for him. He went three for three with three RBIs and two runs, two home runs. He is hitting. Oh, gosh, I read the stat. 12 home runs off of left-handed pitchers. He dominates left-handed pitchers. He might be the strongest, and, I mean, he pulls the ball. But, like, the strongest and most, like, woo, like, whiplashy kind of guy in the entire MLB, especially against left-handed hitters, and he showed it tonight. Both going to left field, he just really gets that bat around, and that was that was cool. Uh, in the first inning, he had a two-run shot, and then later, he had a home run as well. And, oh, gosh, I, uh, I think he's slugging, like, what is it? It doesn't say... Oh, shoot, I thought it was like, I thought it was over 600 against left-handed batters in like his last like four or five games or something this year. Adam Gleeman has the tweet, go find it, I can't remember what it was, but he has been solid this year, and honestly, he's been so good. Like, we've talked about him like three times in the last week about getting like chances at the end of the game, where it was so close to being a home run. The Detroit game a couple of days ago, he had one to the warning track. Another one at, at the target field, grand slam opportunity that it was it was literally at the deepest part of the wall. Like he has had opportunities and he's almost executed them. So he is hot right now. He's smacking the ball around. That has been good. He is batting 250. Honestly, he's he's a perfect filler guy. You know, we always talk about Cave. We always talk about Celestino this year. Garlic has been a filler guy, and I like him. I like him a lot. He especially uh, against left-handed pitching. So good for him tonight. Uh, Nick Gordon came in. He had a weird sequence around the bases. He got walked a balk. He stole third, and then a rise had an infield hit, which was cool. But he scored a run. Uh, Sanchez went one for four. Had a nice hit. Almost went out of the park. It was a long single. Uh, Urshela went one for two. He got hurt. Uh, he got picked off at second. Got hurt. He's still batting 270 though, so like good for him. Sanchez is batting 225, which is honestly pretty good, and I'll take that. Uh, I'm I'm happy with that. Then Arise, Arise comes into the game, um, and he goes one for two, gets an RBI as well, like I just said. Uh, he's batting 342 now, so he has dropped a little bit. He went like 0 for 10, so good to see him back, uh, at least in the hit column. I don't know if that'll be a momentum builder like Buxton was, but good for him. Miranda 
Big night for him. Two for four with two home runs and three RBIs. That is what you want to see. He's still batting 185, but his OPS went up to like 609. Not great, but like where it was, I mean, he had two home runs tonight. So that was really cool. He pulled both of them and they were, they were gone. I mean, they were quite high and quite far. So really happy to see that. I think, what is that? His fourth home run, third and fourth home run of the year. So He's heating up a little bit, which is good. Like, I don't think he's the greatest player in the world. I think he's going to develop, but he's a good player. Larnack 0 for 4, Jeffers 0 for 4, and uh, our shortstop. I thought I, I, I literally pronounced his name. It's Pelasios, I think. Pelasios. He went 0 for 3, but he didn't score a run. Uh, he got walked. So, good night overall, hitting-wise. Like I said, Urshela had a double. Buxton had a double, One of, part of his three hits. Let's talk about pitching. So I personally was looking at this game and saying, we're toast. Chichi Gonzalez, not a great pitcher, did not, you know, I didn't go into this, this game with high hopes, especially coming off of the game against Detroit. I looked at this game and said, we are toast. Let's just go ahead and try not to lose the series. Like, let's, let's, let's try not to lose the series. We might, we probably will, but let's just try not to. And I was like, today doesn't count though. Let's just win tomorrow and the next day. But Rios has been struggling, whatever. And then Chichi Gonzalez is on the mound. I was like, mm, yeah, write it off. He didn't pitch great, I will say. He didn't pitch great. Uh, he was a first rounder in 2013. Has not really performed a lot. He was uh, in the minor leagues for a while. Uh, he only went three innings tonight. Gave up four hits, gave up three runs. You know, a couple home runs as well. Struck out one. Not great. Not great. That's not what you want to see. But our bullpen shut it down. They did amazing. Moran came in. He has impressed me a little bit in the last couple of games. Threw one inning. Struck out uh, three. Struck out the side, but did walk two. No damage done, though. Cotton. Oh, my gosh. What a game Cotton had. Because he came in with the two guys on base from Moran. Is that right? I thought he inherited two guys on base. Am I wrong? I might have to check that. But he inherited, he had some guys on base, and he got, I think, the top of the lineup out with Bochette and with uh, Guriel. Not Guriel. I looked at his name. Guerrero. Gosh, I couldn't think of him. And I don't know if he got Springer or not, but he got the biggest guys out in the lineup. That was exciting. And you knew that that was the game. He struck out the last guy. I don't remember if it was Guerrero or not, but. Yeah, he you knew that was that was good. Uh Duffy had a solid inning as well. Same with Joe Smith and Griffin Jacks coming in and shutting it down. I mean, that is that is six innings of shutout baseball against one of the hottest teams, one of the best teams in baseball. The Blue Jays won eight straight before this, by the way. Um, that's crazy. And like I said, I didn't expect much from this game, especially with how hot the Blue Jays were. I should have mentioned this at the beginning. But the Blue Jays have won eight straight. The Twins had lost four of the last five, and they've lost, I believe it was, I don't know if it was seven of their last ten or eight of their last twelve, but they had lost a lot of games in a row, and that's how baseball works, right? That's how crazy baseball is. You play a bad team in your division, sure, I guess. Bad team, you've seen them so many times in the last two weeks, so I guess that helps a little bit, but then you go take down the Blue Jays. That was so good. So good. Uh also, the last thing I want to mention about pitching is, like, when Gonzalez gave up the leadoff home run to Springer, you were like, oh, shoot. The two runs that we had scored off of Garlic's home run didn't really matter. But it doesn't – we did okay. We came back. We did good. Uh, I think there was a more, one more point that I wanted to make, but can I remember it? That's the question. Uh, it was in the middle innings. I know that. <laughs> Ah, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I might not remember, and that's okay, and we'll just... Oh, yes, this is what it was. This is what it was. If you're still with me, I appreciate it. This is what it was. In the sixth inning, Garlic got a single to lead it off, okay? So there's nobody out. Gary Sanchez strikes out, so there's one out. And then Luis Arise comes up. So this, he came into the game. It was his first at-bat. He grounds out. First or force out at second, throw to first. It's a bang bang play. Angel Hernandez was at first base and he sucks, but he called him out. The Twins replayed it and he was safe. Then the Twins go on to hit the home run for Miranda 
and that made it six to three. I'm not saying the twins, you know, would have surrendered the lead and lost or anything. Would have been the most twins thing to do, though, let me tell you that. But by winning that challenge, that helped them win the game. Like I said, they were still at four to three at that time. It might not have actually impacted the game, but by Miranda hitting that home run, or at least Luis Arise hustling out that ground out, staying out of the double play, which allowed Miranda to get up to the plate, that is what changed this game, um, or at least gave the Twins a lot of insurance that could have taken the sails, the wind out of the sails of the Blue Jays tonight. So the Twins moved to 31-23. and 23. Not probably as good as we would maybe expect, but I think they're still on pace to win like 95 games, and nobody else in the AL Central has a winning record. So that's good. Um, the White Sox lost tonight, which is good, but they're not even in second place anymore. They lost to the Rays. The uh, Yankees shut out the Tigers 13-0, to but the Guardians did win 6-3 to over Baltimore. So that is our challenge right now. We're playing a tough schedule here with the Jays, the Rays, and the Yankees coming up while Cleveland gets to uh, beat up on a double-A team in Baltimore. So... Really, like, we got to win some games. We are. We're playing good still. I'm not too worried. But, yeah, I don't want the Guardians to catch us, and tonight really helped. Uh, we didn't gain or lose anything. I think we're still four games up. So, really, really solid night of baseball, though. I'm excited I got to watch it. That was a fun game. Um, of course, like I said, Yak City is a big Twins fan, or a Blue Jays fan. So, uh, it was fun to see the Twins win against his team uh, since we're friends. So that's all I got for you guys today, though. I do hope that you enjoyed the game as much as I did on your Friday night. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments. If you're still here, let's go. Twins win. Hashtag Twins win in the comments if you're still here. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.